Today we're going to be building a section for the sci-fi office railing. So one of the components we need to make is a flange that's going to go right on the inside of this piece of bent material. This flange is going to be what's going to attach this to the rest of the railing. Normally I would use the Mach 500 to cut these flanges, but it's going to be busy today doing production work. So I'm going to use the Wazer to cut all these little flanges out. And it's going to be running in the background, working hard for me. So we're going to be cutting these little flanges out of quarter inch plate. And it nests right in here like this. And then we secure it down with a couple screws right to this bed right here it's pretty fast i like this machine for these small parts held in place now all we got to do is just follow the instructions this little water jet cuts at around 5,000, 6,000 psi and it's going to cut all our cool little brackets out that we need for the railing pretty slick off we go see this thing done in an hour or two <laughs> Okay, so we've got all our pieces cut, and as you can tell, we're missing an end cap. This is the next step. We need it welded on the end here so we can bolt everything together. One thing I noticed, the saw wasn't quite cutting perfect. We're off a little bit over here. That's not an issue. We can fix it. But what I don't want to do is weld this crooked, and I need it to be square. Now you're probably saying, just, Jason, just square it up. Well, this is all weird angles, so it's kind of hard to get the square positioned right. So the, I think the next step to do to get this exactly perfect is to use the fixture table to align this flange up. Here's the setup we got here to get the length and this perpendicular. Right now, this is a brake shape. We got it supported with these two risers. This is gonna keep the dimension between here and here correct. The next thing we need to look at is right here. As you can see, the saw cut is, like I said, incorrect. It goes off at an angle. So now what I can do is put this flange right up against this block, this block, and this block, push it up tight, get it where I want to, and then I can weld it. And now that saw cut basically doesn't mean anything anymore. This flange is now straight and off we go. Weld, 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 weld. Let's get these things welded out and then we're done. 